All right, hello. It's uh, about 6.30 p.m. Got an hour and a half of daylight left. Uh, I woke up at 5 p.m. Um, today, I must stay up all night. That's my goal. And I think I could do it. I've got plenty of things to do tonight. So we've got some rain coming in tomorrow. Kind of excited. I can feel it already. I can feel the mist, the white cloud. My knees feel cold. But what it's done is it's woken up all the trees, finally. So I noticed last night as the mist came in, all the buds were popping. So finally, I'm gonna have some leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to watch all this turn green again. We had like two weeks of sun, crazy. And now we have a week of rain, probably two weeks of rain. And then spring's here. I mean, it's already here, but it's spring. Now, these are all apple trees, but they have white flowers. I didn't just didn't know that. And then that's how it worked. Anyway, I want to rush to the beach because I need to come back and edit. I haven't even edited yesterday's vlog yet. It's the, it's the first time in 70 days, 71 days that I haven't edited last thing at night. And it felt so strange. I woke up this morning feeling like this, this deep sense of disappointment with myself. But I, I was too tired. I had a three hour phone call and I was that was it. I was done. I had nothing left in me. So yeah, I'll edit when I get back. Just sorry to run this waiting for the vlog. Dude, I was 10 minutes into my walk and then I realized I forgot my camera. Sorry, I left you guys behind. Oops. <sighs> my bad. Okay. I was just reading some comments on a video. No, he said, this is depressing. You wake up at five, then go out for an hour and complain about how people have to work all day. I think I stand by what I said. No, I do, I stand by what I said. I think it's sad that people have to work all day. Like yeah, take me out of the equation. I'm not, I'm not talking about myself. I work my own hours and for some reason I enjoy working at night. But people, they work their whole day and then don't have any time left to do anything. That was my complaint of saying that it's a shame that people aren't out during the day. But then yeah, you're right. If someone is out at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and they don't see me out there, they're like, oh, what a shame, he's missing the beautiful morning. Yeah, I guess I should stop complaining about everything. No complaints, life's perfect. I'll just be another bland YouTuber that doesn't talk about anything bad ever again. Thinking about having a little photo shoot in here. Whenever I read comments that are like really degrading, that's what makes me want to stop. It makes me not want to talk to you guys ever again. Yeah, shout out to the minority that leave these kind of comments. You're ruining it for everyone. So everything you see around me is wild garlic. And I went and laid in it and now my back smells of garlic. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So garlic is usually one of the first things to pop up in spring. It's all very exciting. I mean, the sun sets at 8 p.m. now, that's crazy. Summer's here. I just gotta survive. I just gotta keep surviving. When I was a teenager, I, I, never, I was so depressed that I never expected to survive longer than age 21. I was certain that I was gonna go. And yet, here I am, age 29 now, I'm still alive. I can happily say I've beaten depression. Now it's just like, well, life. I just gotta win the game of life now, which is arguably harder than depression. At least depression is treatable. After having like my psychedelic awakening, it, it, I feel reborn in a way, as if I get another chance to like do it better. Like I was a mess before, before psychedelics came in. So yeah, now I'm just trying to live better, like, enjoy it more. Be grateful that I'm still here. Because any of us can be taken out at any, any moment. 
I think the moment you give up, well, the moment you stop following your path and don't get back on it, refuse to get back on it, I think that's when you're taken out. When you know your path and you know your mission and you deliberately ignore it and do everything that is the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing, I think that's when you go. Or I think maybe that's when your life takes a turn and you just start feeling awful. So, am I making sense? You guys need to understand that I'm talking to myself out loud, but I'm talking in a way that is understandable if, as if someone was standing right next to me. Like you are my third eye, you're following me around. You're here with me. So I'm trying to talk to myself out loud and also to a person. So these thoughts that come out, these are just in my head anyway. And I'm just trying to verbalize them in a way that makes sense. So if, if I bounce from topic to topic, it's because that's just how I think. I mean, try it. Go out and film yourself all day and see what, see what you say to yourself. It's interesting. So satisfying. Oh, it's trippy, like looking out at the ocean. The ocean's a couple, a couple miles away. All the way out there. But I can't walk on the sand, it's too sinky, deep, it's too deep. But what I have found is another forest, similar to the one I was just in, but further out there. I've never been there, but I'm not gonna go there today. I'm just gonna get close, have a little look, make sure it's not pippity poppity private property, and then I'll come back another time. I feel so strange. Being nocturnal is weird. It's really trippy. I can't say I'm not enjoying it. I know, I know I have complained in the past about this whole sleeping thing, but it's not terrible. It means I get to have like long conversations with my American and Australian friends, which I don't usually have time for. So it's nice. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not complaining about that thing. I'm happy. I'm healthy. <laughs> Healthy-ish. Sun is gone. Time for me to also be gone. I realized that in the past 71 days of vlogging, I've hung out with a friend for three of those days. It's strange. When you document it and actually pay attention, it's really bad. But I'm not complaining. I enjoy my own time. I enjoy my own company. I'm not complaining. I'm home now and I'm just editing today's video I'm getting so distracted because all my friends are texting me which is lovely <laughs> I love being all my friends talking to me but uh yeah this video is going up so late but it's fine because I'm staying up all night anyway so I'm not trying to I'm not trying to rush things I'm trying to like enjoy myself so if I'm not enjoying myself then what's the point finished all done time to eat What up dudes? I think this is it. This is the end. This is the end of my daily vlog experiment. Day 72. Basically, I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve with this vlog. Got things rolling with my business. I managed to get myself out of that flunk that I was in where I couldn't create anything. I'm now making things every day again. It kind of brought back my confidence for YouTube, which means it's time for me to shift back over to my main channel. You know, the one that has like half a million subscribers that are waiting for me. Yeah, that one. Basically last night, I tried to stay up all night to fix my sleeping pattern. And then when it got to about 3, 4 a.m., I'm just thinking, why am I doing this to myself? I was like, just playing video games to stay awake. I'm like, why am I doing this? This is it's entirely unproductive. And it's because I hadn't finished a vlog for that day. Uh, like you saw the last video, it went up late. Also yesterday, when I went out for a walk with Jasper, I left the, the vlog camera in the car and I had to run back and get it. Which means 
I just wanted to walk. I didn't want to have to make a video. But that was the first time I've noticed that. So that means yesterday's video would have been forced. So I slept, I slept, I slept pretty well. I mean, pretty well, I slept for six hours, but you might have seen this coming. Basically the views have been dropping because I am not as enthusiastic as I was on day one. <laughs> the whole reason I did this challenge was in December, I, I promised my Twitch chat that I would do a daily vlog every day in January. And if I missed a day, I have to do an ice bath. So I started the challenge halfway through January and then continued it until now, the end of March. That's way, way longer. That's like two and a half times longer than I wanted to do. And I hope that's enough content for you guys. I really tried hard to push out something interesting every day. I don't know how people have done this for years, like daily vlogging for years. They must be machines. Well, they have a team. I don't think anyone could just do this on their own. I basically achieved everything I wanted to achieve. I... I've saved up a bunch of money so I can move now. Now I just gotta find a place and I'm ready to move forward with my fractals. In like a couple months time, I'll be ready to hire someone before summer. So things are moving. Things are going in the, in the right direction. I just realized that I could be spending all day working on fractals, but because of the vlog, it takes half my day away. So I need to stop trying to, to balance the two and just, just pick one, pick the more important one. So unfortunately, I have to just end this. I have to stop it here. I've done daily vlogging in the past, and I've, I've only managed to do 30 days in the past. This is like, what, 72 days? That's, that's, that's great. If I keep going, I'll set the bar too high and I'll never be able to beat it. So I want to end it short so that I can try and beat this in the future. There's no reason why I won't vlog again. I just need to be in a better circumstance, have a house, have my fractals running smoothly, and I want to show you all that process. But I think you've seen enough now. You've seen enough of me. I've said enough words. You've listened to me, you've hung out with me, you've been there for me. But um, it's time for me to focus now. Stop talking so much. I worked out that I only saw one friend in the three months that I was doing this. And that was only for three days. So three out of the 72 days of daily vlogging, I had a friend, like physically there for me. Or with me, I should say. That's just crazy. That, like you guys saw that. You saw how how isolated I am. I talk about it all the time, but I saw a friend for three days in three months. This whole year, th three days of friendship. <laughs> I mean, I'm grateful for those three days. I'm not complaining at all. Charlie's great for doing that. It's just it's just kind of wild to, to look at it from an outside perspective, I guess. Like you guys see that I am alone all the time. You, you've been there all day, every day, for the past 72 days. It's just crazy. If you out there do have friends, really cherish them because, man, it's life is not fun without them. So the rains are returning for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to use that time now to start the tie dyeing, stop talking about it so much, just to get it done. And yeah, I hope in the next couple of weeks you'll see some products coming out of me. Finally. I'll still be making content, but I'll try and move down to like a vlog a week and try and get a main channel video up every week as well. Two videos a week. If I can do that, then the, the quality will be, will be so much better. All right, I'm getting cold sitting here. Let's move around. So on, I want to get some thank yous out there to everyone that consumed this this media that I created, this little this little um, public diary or video journal. Um, we got 150,000 views. Oh wait, what the heck? Why is this log blue? 72 days, we got 150,000 views on the channel, which is, which is amazing. But those videos are now gonna be up there forever. So people can go back and catch up on what I was doing. Um, anyone that missed any episodes, feel free to go watch them. What I'll do is I'll make a playlist and have it in the first line of the description. If you click on that, it'll start from the beginning and come all the way to the end. If you wanna see anything, if you missed any episodes. There were some great videos in there. I went on some really amazing adventures. Ow, that's a stick. Also, now that the vlog is over, I don't have the pressure to be outside all day. I can actually give my knee a chance to heal because I've had this knee injury now for a couple months and I want it to get better so that I can actually move again. I'm like scared to work out because my wrist and my knee have been injured and I didn't want to push it. I mean, there's so many, there's so many reasons why this had to end. Um, the biggest one was my sleep. It didn't take long for my sleeping pattern to just fall apart. 
I was going to bed so early and then out of nowhere, I'm going to bed at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine a.m. And I realized like, I, this is not sustainable. My skin is get, getting massive breakouts all across the side of my face. I'm just like, wow, I'm really letting my health deteriorate, which is affecting my mood, which is affecting the content. That's representative in the comments and also in the views. You guys were not happy with um, my mindset, my behavior. People would often point out that I, I need to change my mindset because I'm complaining too much about what I, I talk about what I don't have more than what I have. And sure, that's definitely a toxic trait of mine that I, that I need to work on now. Now I realize, now that I put it out there in the public eye, you guys pointed it out, I appreciate it. I'm thankful for everyone that left those kind of comments because it's given me something now to work on. You have a vlog, you're basically pointing a mirror at yourself, but the whole public is behind that mirror. Everyone can see what you see. It's strange, it's such a strange phenomenon with vlogging. You're literally shining a spotlight on yourself when you don't have to, no one's asking you to do it. No one, no one asked for this. I just decided to do it because I wanted to see if I could do the challenge. But yeah, I wanted to say thank you to all the lovely comments, everyone that said anything nice these past 72 days. Um, I'm gonna spend a few hours now going through all the comments that I missed and try and respond to everyone just, just so you guys know that I, I do read them. And thanks to everyone that liked and subscribed. I, I see you all. It's been a fun journey. I wanted to make a little video to kind of wrap this all up of all of the introductions that I did, the 72 introductions. Just make that into a little montage. Curious to see how my intros like developed across these couple months. Oh man, it's actually really cold outside now. So yeah, I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just stopping the daily vlog. Um, I'm obviously gonna be on Twitch. I'll try and do Twitch every night now to kind of make up for the, the lost content. So yeah, go follow me on Twitch. We're nearly at a thousand uh, followers on there, which is amazing. Um, thanks to all the donos, everybody that subbed on Twitch, like all that financial, financial help while I was doing the vlog has allowed me to not have to push all my other stuff so hard. I was able to take a break from my store and slow down a bit on the OnlyFans, so I appreciate it. You guys have made um, this past couple months a lot easier and it's allowed me to save up so I can move now, so I, I really appreciate it. Come to the Discord, come talk to us. Like, I'm on Discord and Twitch every day, basically, almost every day, and um, that's the easiest way to reach me if you want to talk about anything. Come and hang out with the, the community that we built. A lot of like-minded, uh, beautiful people on the Discord. Uh, yes, one of the most exciting parts about ending the vlog is now I can go and do more ambitious adventures, such as like going to hike in Scotland for a week. I want to do the tallest mountain in Ireland and England. Yeah, I just go camping and see people now, um, which is something that I had to say no to uh, because I was doing the vlog. So yeah, you, you'll see some, some way better adventure videos now that I can actually go further than my sur immediate surroundings. Spring's coming in, so yeah, the content's gonna get really beautiful. I just need to slow down a bit, focus on my store, get that ready before summer, because summer's fast approaching. Like, I'm going traveling in about three months, so I have to, like, get things ready so that I can sustain the traveling. I basically wanna have my product and employees all ready before I go away. I need my sleeping pattern to be fixed. I need my yoga practice back. I barely did any yoga because of the vlog, I was just waking up too late. Whenever I wake up past midday, I, f I feel like I don't have time for yoga. Yeah, I'm just happy to get back to a bit of normality for a bit. I need to mentally prepare for like what's to come. Like summer's gonna be intense, moving house is gonna be intense, so. Yeah. Still gonna have you guys along on the journey, but the content will be more intentional and less uh, kind of thought porn. You, that was a weird way to say it. Less just stream of consciousness, more intentional, maybe more scripted, we'll see. Back to what I was making a long time ago. Hopefully it'll be more digestible too, so people actually don't have too much time to listen to me talk. I'll make content for them. I was waking up and then immediately going into work mode. I had no time to even think about like my dream, think about what I wanted to do that that day. I was just instantly into like, okay, what do I make content wise? The camera's been in my hand almost all day, every day. I'm always holding it, ready for some thoughts to come out. And I just need to get out of that. It's too much. I don't know how daily vloggers do it for so long, but it's been nice. It's been a nice little experiment for myself to see if I could do it. I mean, 72 days is insane. I didn't miss a single day. Let me know in the comments if you actually managed to watch all 72 episodes. I mean, props to you, that's a lot of content. 
like 15 20 minutes a day for 72 days bro that's a tv show feels good now i'm sure it'll feel better when i actually rest a bit more and just like that this is the last time we'll be hanging out in my room together i actually got to move this whole thing to the abandoned area because somebody's coming to say yeah next time you see me i'll be in there and then after that i'm moving so okay i'm gonna edit this post tonight and then relax tomorrow not make anything i'm just gonna just relax i'm curious to see what my brain does if it like tries to force myself to do a TikTok or something i don't know what will happen seriously thank you all for watching leave a final comment to say goodbye to the vlog uh, maybe tell me what your favorite episode was i'd like to do a youtube live stream where i where i watch all of the vlogs on this channel everything from the very beginning 2013 till now as a live stream and react to stuff and give you behind the scenes and stuff i think it'd be fun it'd be really cringy but fun i think i don't know when i'll do that i'll do that at some point that'll be like a four day live stream or something like that anyway, thank you all bye